Hey y'all, JS Creations Art Sanity here. So for today I'm going to make an Easter bowl. I am using a stove um, burner cover and that's the large one. And then I have plastic wrap covering that and I'm just um, making sure that it is pushed up against the sides and I try to um, even out or get rid of the wrinkles as best as I can and here I'm just using up this is some resin I've had laying around for a little bit and I just want to get it used up I have mica powders in those four cups there um, these mica powders I got off of Amazon they were in a box of I don't know there was several in there I will have everything listed in the description below but I just went through there and I picked out four what I thought would be Easter colors and like I said I already have some of that in my cups there and I've got my resin mixed up and now I'm just putting the resin into those little cups I do, after I have them all mixed up, I do come back and put just a little bit more of each mica powder in there. I think in total, um, I don't, this, this is just a guess. Um, I want probably anywhere from goodness, an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of mica powder in those cups. And I used a I think it was about nine ounces, eight to nine ounces of resin for this piece.
So I'll come in here with my heat gun. It is on a very low setting. I'm just trying to get some of those bubbles out of there. Remember this is plastic, it will melt. I've also blown the plastic like into the resin and that just causes all kinds of problems too. So you just be very careful So that tool there, I'm not even sure what it is. Um, I think it's, um, I, I don't know, I think it's a tool for like working with polymer or clay. At least that's where I found it in that section of the store. So here I'm coming in with um, some holographic glitter. I do come in with the torch to get some more bubbles, but again, be very, very careful. This is plastic, it will melt. And I will cover this and I leave this set for four hours. Okay, I knew that some of that glitter would spread out, but I didn't think that it would cover the whole thing. So that was a little shocker, but um, it's pretty. So that is um, a styrofoam, it's just a half, um, I, what a half, half sphere styrofoam thing that I've had laying around and that's what I'm going to use to um, mold this, this bowl. So I'm being careful, careful to pull that out And I just drape that, drape it over and I keep working with it, messing with it um, until I get um, something that I'm happy with. It is, the resin is very sticky. Um, you'll see I do catch my glove on the edge of it there. <laughs> so it should not move anymore. And that's how you test the resin. Like I, I had a little bit on the table and that's how I tested it. You know, when it got to that sticky stage and it wasn't gonna move anymore, that's when you wanna mold your piece. So here I covered it and I left it for, oh, what was it? 14, 15 hours, something like that. Um, and here I'm taking the plastic out of it. It is, the resin is still very pliable. I mean, I, I can move this, I can still shape this. It's still very soft. So I get all that plastic out of there. This, this, this it's so pretty. It's not how I, you know, had in my mind starting out, but it, it, it did up, it's all good. It's so pretty. I will put this back on the mold, that styrofoam, and leave it set for three days to do a hard cure. And I'll have pictures coming up here at the end. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Give me a like, share, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. And happy Easter, everybody.